Hey there Flockers, I'm Mike from Epic Duck Studios and welcome to the Epic Hobby. Today I'm going to be painting Cyclops from Night Models for the Marvel Universe Miniature Games. The game is unfortunately discontinued, but the models are pretty sweet so I'm going to paint them anyway. This is going to be part one of a two-part series where I attempt to match the box art for this miniature as closely as possible. So there's basically two color groupings on this miniature, the blue spandex and the dark metallics that are almost a brass color. And what really drives this model is deep contrast. To begin, I'm going to base coat almost the entire model with Citadel McCrag Blue. Normally I use a Winsor Newton Series 7 size 2 brush for almost everything I do, and that will be the case with the remainder of this video. But initially here, I'm just going to use an old beat up brush to apply the McCrag Blue in a smooth, even coat across the whole model. I'm using an old beat up brush because I'm going to use a technique that I used to refer to as the sloppy base coat, where because the blue is almost the entire miniature, I'm just going to apply it everywhere and then fix where it doesn't need to be later. Normally this is also where our airbrush would come in because you could just apply the blue to the entire model and then build up from there. You can see since I really don't care about not getting it anywhere, it applies very quickly and this only takes a couple minutes to get down. So with all the blue areas down, I'm going to grab some Vallejo Game Color Earth and use this as a base coat for all of the metallic areas because I do want that deep brass sort of color and this is a really good place to jump off from that. Now I should note that after this I'm going to be applying a Nuln Oil Wash to the entire miniature which is going to tone this down even further so it's going to start out a little bit darker than this initial color looks. So there's five primary details that are going to receive this color. The left and right bracers on his shins, his left and right bracers on his forearms, and his visor. But there's also a lot of smaller details that are going to receive this color, which is basically the trim lines running through the armor. They're all over the place. And then also he's got the X-Men X on his left lapel, which is going to be painted this way as well.
So now the large details are done, the bracers and the visor, and I'm now working on the X-Men symbol on the left lapel, and I'll work into the trim from there. Now, I'm gonna be honest, painting the trim here is kind of a pain in the butt. It's a tiny, thin pencil line almost that's just raised up off of the blue. And because it is raised, you have to make sure you actually get the sides of it as well. So you have to basically paint each line twice from both the left side and the right side, however you're looking at it. Just kind of rotate the model 180 and look at it again from the opposite direction to make sure the raised edges are painted as well as the flat surface across the top. So you're basically having to do all this work twice and it's a little bit tedious. Ultimately it's worth it in the end and this is one of those places I'm okay being a little bit sloppy as well because what I'll do after this is I'll come back in with a little bit of the blue and just tighten the lines up. So if I paint them a little bit too wide or if there's a little bit of spillage out onto the blue spandex area, I'll just clean it up later with the blue because the blue covers up over this earth color really really easily. When you're painting you really shouldn't be afraid to make mistakes because you can almost always correct them by just painting back over them again. I'm sure by now you get the idea of how I'm painting these lines so I'm going to skip ahead to the next step. So now the base coat is down on all the lines and I'm going to go ahead and just grab a little bit of the blue base coat and just start to tighten up some areas where I may have spilled a little bit out onto the spandex. Okay, so now basically all of the base coating is done and I'm going to apply a Nuln Oil wash to the entire miniature. This is going to really bring down the color of both the blue and the earth to get me a really deep tone that I can start to build contrast up from afterwards. The only part of the miniature here I haven't really base coated yet is his face and that's a very small detail. It's just basically from the nose to the jaw is visible flesh. It's a very small detail and it also wouldn't really benefit from a Nuln Oil wash, so it makes more sense to paint it later in this particular case. So here again I've gone back to the old beat up brush that I used initially to apply the sloppy blue base coat. And I'm applying the Nuln Oil wash evenly to the whole miniature. The reason I'm using this brush is I'm applying the wash in a little bit of a vigorous manner and I don't want to ruin my go-to detailing brush by being really vigorous with it applying a wash. Now as I'm applying this wash, I'm kind of flicking the brush around so that the wash doesn't pool up too much in any one specific area. I'm spreading it around to make sure that it works its way into the different creases. Some of these night models, the different areas of definition like their six pack and so on, tend to be a little bit on the shallow side. They're not a really deep crevice that you expect from like a GW or a Privateer Press miniature. They can be a little bit more on the almost more natural side which looks really good from a modeling standpoint, but it does make painting just a little bit more difficult. So sometimes you have to push the wash into a certain detail two or three times before it really sticks. All right, that just about wraps it up for Cyclops part one. In the next video, the wash will be completely dry and I'll begin detailing his blue spandex. That'll be followed by a third video where I focus on the non-metallic metal of his bracers and visor and then just finish up any last details like his chin and so on. Thanks for watching the Epic Hobby, and until next time, do something epic.